Hey, I want to tell everybody, thanks for coming out already this morning. At 8.30 this morning, the place was rolling pretty good. Traffic's getting heavy, and it's going to be a great day. The Lord's blessed us with a great day today, I believe. And, uh, hell, I just want to thank everybody that comes out and support the Veterans Support Fund. Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show today. We got something great going on today. We're over here in Daytona Bike Week on Thursday. What the heck is going on now? We're at Willie's Chopper Time Show. The best show there is down here. You got to come to it. It's right here on the uh, one at Willie's Tropical Tattoo Shop. You know, this is the greatest show on earth when it comes to choppers, vintage bikes. They all ride in on these bikes. It's a great show coming down to here. And if you've never been here, you need to check this out, put this on your list, because Thursday is the day to be here. It's a great event. A lot of people show up. And oh, by the way, all the money goes to charity. It goes to, to the veterans. vets. Yeah. There you go. So let's get to it. And we're going to watch the bikes roll in. Oh, and Cam got her plates today. Oh, I did. How about that? Sheer pan, 48 pan. Uh, all original bike, pretty cool. Daily rider. Uh, come out of Glenville, North Carolina. How long have you had it? About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Trade for nothing? No, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, 71, 70, 69 BSA, custom frame, miscellaneous whatever. It's taken me about seven years to build, and, it, all. Uh, to build it all. And literally my only dream is to be here today. I don't care if I want anything. That's right. The fact that, that I'm here at Willie's. I'm the same way. I'm, I'm good enough. I got me a chopper I'm working on and I'm hoping to bring it in next year. Right on, and, right uh, on. It's just a privilege to have a bike here. Yeah, absolutely. Where are you from? Uh, Orlando. Okay. Obviously, she's got oil because she's leaking. Oh, wow. Well, it's a, it's an older bike. They leak a little bit. Yeah. If they don't leak, that means you ain't been driving it. <laughs> it means it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> Heather from Cycle Source. M. 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 Yep, I'm just M. <laughs> she's just M. She's amazing, though. Registration, yes. Cycle Source Magazine, Grease Ge and Gears. And uh, it's always great to have them. They've, they've come on board a few, quite a few years back. It's about a we're around the beginning of it all, I think. I think so, yeah. And we've they've been, been with me ever minute. since. Great people. And uh, can't say enough about Cycle Source Magazine. Thank you, Willie. Yes, thank you. Hello. Here, a 76 shovel head. Um, just deconstructed, bobber style. Nothing major. Built in the shed behind, the, behind my uh, gallery. And just a fun bike. Bits and pieces from a lot of shows from my street here. Um, the flea market stuff. And uh, just kind of threw it together and had some fun with it. Wrote it here. How long did it take you to put it together? Probably about a season, a year. Okay. You know, only because we're doing this part time. We got some other bikes. But the truth of the matter is, uh, this was the most fun one because I always wanted something just real simple. Yeah. Uh, it's kind something of a, you can play with. Yeah, I wrote it over here from North Flagler. You know, it's a rider. It's not a show bike. It's just yep. a rider, but yep. I enjoy it. That's what we. That's what I love about this show. Most of the bikes are rode in. That's it. That's it. Looks good. Thank you. They call me K model. The motors were donated by Murph Quality Motorcycle, right down there in, in uh, right by the racetrack by Cabbage Patch. We put all the motors together. They came in box. Frame was donated, and we just pieced it all together. He won in a 1969 motor. It was supposed to be 900 CCs. That's not what happened. We don't know how fast it'll go, but uh, we got one boy back in Cincinnati that's crazy enough to try it. Was that a Cadillac? Or? 
These little tanks here, those were actually oxygen tanks. Oh, really? They cut them, put the well, it welded the ends on them, put the bung in the top. That's the same thing the gas tank is. Wow. The battery box, everything's hidden up underneath here, okay. all the electronics. Oh. And, uh, it was a challenge. <laughs> Uh, my name is Derek from Lincoln, Nebraska. It's a uh, 56 pan head. Um, just a budget build. Just found random parts in the shop and built the bike I wanted. So. Hi there, tell us your name and a little bit about your bike. Ah, my name's Ron. Built this bike back in 2007, I believe. And I started out with an evolution motor, ended up with a shovel head motor in it. And uh, here we are at Tattoo Willies. Actually, we got Harley Davidson on board with us now, so that's a big plus for us, you know. And uh, yeah, you got the guys like Bill Dodge, Jerry Jackman running around here. Hey, Bill! Hey, Bill! Hey, Bill! Say hi over here for a minute. Hello. Go here. That's Bill Dodge and Jerry Jackman. All righty. How are you guys doing out there? You got some bikes here? Yes, ma'am. Well. I have a knucklehead right there, and uh, I have a couple of soft tail and an FXR. I don't know if Jerry brought it. I brought a bike, but I hide it over there. No, I don't care. It's too special, huh? No, it is. It has nothing. He lives around the block. He's making fun of us. I'm like a low key type guy. It's always great to see you two together here. Thank you. Thanks for all the work you do too. It's a 97 Sportster Hardtail. Great paint job, and it's fun to ride. Did you build it yourself? No. How long have you had it? Uh, a couple years, but it's just, yeah. Constantly. Where'd you Where'd you ride in from? Uh, I live in Holly Hill. Okay, so close by. Yes. Nice paint. Tell me about your bike. It's a 42 WL. It's got a 61 flathead in it. I just redid the whole basket case. Just got it done a month ago, so it's full of bugs. And How long did it take you? About a year and a half. That's not bad, not bad. Made it a bobber. Which, here we go. Where are you from? Um, St. Augustine right now. I'm from the West Coast, Washington. Okay. So you rode it up from St. Augustine? No. <laughs> no. It's Plus that, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Rode it around the block. <laughs> Slide over a little bit. All right. and down.
rubber mount Sportster, pretty much custom from the ground up. Did you build it? Yes. How long did it take you to build it? This particular bike on and off, working on it a couple of years. I liked it. What, what, what was the design for the tires? The thought? I ride the bike in the dirt a lot. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There you go. That was very, first thing I see when you pulled in. I was like, check out those tires. All right on. <laughs> All righty. Good luck with the show. It's a 1994 Road King. Bought brand new at Palm Beach Harley Davidson. And uh, I've totally rebuilt it since uh, 96. Painted it. Did all the pinstriping, built the motor, polished the cases, and it's an 88 cubic inch. Have you owned it all this time? You bought it yep. new? Bought it new. There you go. Original owner. How many miles you got on it? Well, we really don't know, <laughs> but it knows its own way to Sturgis. There you go. Many pictures out there of it. All right, Sturgis. that's pretty and good. It's been painted and built since 1996. Sounds good, looks good. It is a 94. Uh, Thank you. He'll be on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, I was talking to Xavier. He said, Yeah, I just sold it. And he's like, oh, Okay, and I seen you rolling in on it. I'm like, oh, Yeah, I had to bring it here. Tell me a little bit about your bike. It's a yeah. 50, yeah, 50 right. Panhead FL. Bought a basket case from a guy in Ohio, I don't know, four or five years ago, and just took a time to, to redo it. There you go. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Flower Town, Pennsylvania, small suburb outside of Philadelphia. Looks nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. A lot of, a lot of labor of love into this thing. I bet it does look like it. <laughs> and the worst part is, I had, I've had, I have generator issues. I got oh. stranded twice down here, Jeez. so I brought it over and just drove it around the corner. I don't want to take a chance. Yeah. Where I'm staying. Might be worth trying. Is there any way to change it over to like a 12 volt system or anything? It is a 12 volt. Oh. I did do that, but it's just not charging the battery. Oh. So. That sucks. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> Got to get it but to anyway, the show. I've had a lot of fun. It's been a okay. good time building it. Yep, it looks yeah. nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yours. We'll start with that. It's 82. And what all have you done to it? Uh, <laughs> took the motor out of another bike, put it in this frame. I'm basically everything. And how long did it take you to finish it up? Start to finish. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, Just a guess. I'm not gonna hold you to it. All right. This bike's been together twice. I built this bike, put it in the show and it wound up being in an accident, so it started over. So this is the second year, basically two, we'll say two years, okay. because it's got a lot of odd stuff on it that we went And a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of love, a little bit of hate, a lot, yeah. <laughs> and uh, where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. All righty, it does look nice, I like Thank it. You. You uh, attracted my eyes when I came in. So, uh, what's the Eastwood stand for? That's... Okay, Eastwood bike. 
So you have a shop? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Me and my son. Yeah, yeah. Back, up. back up a little bit. Good, how you doing, man? Tell me about your bike. Uh, it's a turbo shovel. And uh, what all have you done to it? Everything. <laughs> Paint everything. And uh, what year basically is it? Uh, it's the frame. It's <laughs> frame's all built. I just finished it. Okay. And uh, you have your own shop? No, nope. just built for a hobby. Okay. And how long have you been? Uh, how long did it take you to finish it up? A uh, year. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. All right. Looks good. Thank you. to build that a year yeah <laughs> some people I talk to is like a lifetime and just a hobby yeah oh yeah <laughs> Deny it now. How you guys doing? Oh, wow. yeah. Great day for a chopper show.
uh, 47 FL knucklehead. Watch your back, Mike coming in. I ride it every week. What all have you done to it? Uh, it don't look like it, but the motors are rebuilt, the trannies are rebuilt, hubs are rebuilt, brakes are rebuilt, new wiring, updated it to 12 volt. Uh, How long have you had it? Long time. <laughs> <laughs> Too long to remember. Yeah. And are you local? Where are you from? Registration. I live here in Daytona, okay. but I live part time up in Milwaukee. Okay. So. You take it back up there and ride it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Looks good. So it's a regular rider. Yeah. Looks good. I built it 18 years ago. It's got a 113 Ultima on it. Uh, Jesse James pipes. Uh, I did the paint. I did the build on it. Uh, say I didn't. I wasn't planning on bringing it down here. I was building another bike for this and didn't quite get her done. So I just cleaned that one up and brought it up. And where are you from? Missouri, about 60 miles south of St. Louis. The home that you wanted to bring? Uh, 76 Triumph with an old crazy Frank rear suspension, rear fender on it and stuff. And it, I got about two weeks shy of getting it here. Bring it back for the fall or wait for spring? I'll probably bring it back, I don't know. Uh, I, when I was 22, I built my first custom little Triumph out of the kitchen of my apartment and I candy painted it with spray bombs. Mm -hmm. And it turned out really good. But the plan was to ride it down here. We wound up getting married instead. So mm. it took me 38 years to get here. All right, <laughs> still married? No. Okay, that's why you're here. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Had to get a divorce to get, to get down here. <laughs> Looks good. Thank you. So, uh, where are you from? Pittsburgh. All right. And is it able to be a, dr a daily driver? Oh, yeah. There you go. We're running in the cannonball if you want. It's too, it's too new for the cannonball. Though. Is it too new? Well, I'm going to follow the cannonball next year. On well, my new bike, I'm going to follow the cannonball. And, well, uh, my buddy Art that built the motor, 
he uh, he had three motors in the cannonball to finish this year. So. That's pretty. Point there. Can you tell me about your bike? 1938 knucklehead. What all have you done to it? Rebuilt the engine and put miles on it. There you go. You ride it all the time? Yep. And where where, where do you live now? Minnesota. All right. Do you ride it up there in Minnesota? In the snow? <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Come down here to Florida to enjoy the riding. Yep. All right. Nice bike. KG, 1980 Showhead FXC. I've owned for 12 years now, and I completely rebuilt it from the ground up. It was a complete basket case when I picked it up, but now she's this beauty you see right here in front of me. And where are you from? Well, I'm from uh, Florida, originally, but I live in Virginia now. So it's, uh, how long did it actually take to completely rebuild it? Oh, it took me about a year. That's not bad. Yeah. So you're just doing it in a garage at home, or you got yeah, a Yeah, my little two-car garage at home. This is one of the three bills that I've done. Okay. And I had this one the longest, and this is my baby here. I love this one. So crowded today, they had to put bikes back here. So they're lining the bikes up back here, taking up space for everybody to stand around. And uh, I don't know if they've done this before or not. Since we've been coming, I never seen them back here, but I'm not saying they never were. Some really cool bikes back here. A lot of old school looking bikes. These guys are from Tam and Bob. They do a YouTube video of the shop and everything and the show. And I wanted to meet RCBC guys over here. And this is Jim. And we've got Virgil on the ground. Rex, Rex. Yeah, Rex, yeah, Rex, sir. Huh? Rex right here. You guys want to say anything about RCBC? It's free advertising. We do have some community bike for church. Yeah, we're here for bikers. Oh, well, I have two cameras just in case one <laughs> fails. Yeah. Master, what you gonna say? If you guys ain't gonna say nothing, I'll tell you this. Okay. RCBC is one of the best things for this community. They come out and help and support the local community. And when people go down on their bikes or get sick or something, they do a breakfast. And I know you can't do every single one of them, but they throw a breakfast and they raise the funds and stuff for the person that's in the hospital or they're having down, down on their luck and stuff. Great community service. You gotta catch them on a Saturday night. They do a great job. They got Frankie preaching over there most of the time and he's, he's a great preacher. And that's Saturday nights. So if you get a chance, go by there and check them out. Saturday nights at 6.30. And where five, 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 eight Street, Holly Hill, Florida. The Jesus Run Church, run by Jesus. Sounds good. That's the way it should be. That's the only way it should be. <laughs> Thank y'all.